So I was in my last year of university and I was driving back home late one night after a long tiring term and basically decided that I'd like to take a year off after uni um, before starting my career. So I was also getting more into my cycling at the time. So basically to pack myself that if I was going to take some time out, then I'd, I'd use some of that time to, to do a big cycling challenge. So um, as a result, decided to attempt to cycle from one end of the UK to the other on Z to China Greats. Um, and yeah, um, I'd never really done anything like that before, so it was all uncharted territory, but you know, good to do a new challenge. Um, and the original plan was to start in June, July time, um, but a little thing called coronavirus got in the way of that. Um, but actually when things started to open up a little bit in August, um, it looked like it was going to be possible. So put in a start date for three weeks time, um, and then, yeah, did a little bit of last minute training, bought some things on my bike, booked up the accommodation and, um, yeah, headed down to Cornwall three weeks later, ready to start. Um, so this is a bit of an account of, of how the how the trip went. Um, so, yeah, enjoy watching. So here we are, Land's End, at the start. Got the bike, got my mum, company, brought me down, uh, came down yesterday to Cornwall. Um, yeah, lovely meal in St. Ives and uh, yeah, I think we're just about ready to go now. arrived in Penzance, uh, we're going around so far, the weather's pretty deep, uh, we've got a slight tailwind as well, so yeah, flying along, and I haven't got any bags today, we've got mum as a support vehicle for day one, I'm just a persuader. End of day one, made it to Wade Bridge. Start of day two, and it is it's a bit wet. Um, gear on my bike now, all alone, but yeah, legs feeling good. Ready for a big day of climbing, 2,500 meters of climbing, biggest day today. You want to go to the seaside? I'm not trying to say that everybody wants to go. I fell in love at the seaside. She hound on her charm with time and slight of hound, hound, hound. But I'm just trying to love you any kind of way. But I find it hard to love you. A little bit over halfway. Um, yeah, it's pretty miserable. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. Bike there. I have never been so wet. And it is also cold. And I'm struggling, but I'll make it. I'll be alright. Mm. Yeah, just gotta keep on going. It has finally stopped raining. Um, I mean, it's still not very nice, but um, yeah, we're sort of slightly drying off in between cars driving through puddles and getting me soaked again. We're nearly there now. Weather's improved a little bit. Made it, South Molson. That was horrible. Um, yes, I want to see. Got up this morning and uh, yeah, 
still raining? Yeah. So, it's gonna be another long wet day, I think, but anyway, we got on with it. From the hard time living till the Chelsea days From when I have a sweet blonde till the day I turn grey She said L-I-F-E-G-O-E-S-O-N So we're off on top of Exmoor um, Pretty tough start to the day, a lot of climbing So uh, yeah, we're up here now, so today's pretty easy from now on in The weather yeah, isn't actually too bad um, A couple of showers, but um, I've actually been able to take my coat off So um, yeah, a bit better than yesterday um, my brake shift is being a bit dodgy, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, hope that doesn't break. But yeah, other than that, it's doing pretty well. Some people with a history like a map on their face. And Joey was an artist just living out a case. But his best word was his letters home. So yeah, on the final climb of the day. Um, pretty easy from up to run up that. Um, I thought I'd stop and appreciate the view. Just in uh, rich water. Got some new uh, pads on my brakes because yesterday I kind of wrecked them. So I'm going to spare as well. So yeah, bike's all good. Um, we've got about 30k left to go. Start of uh, yeah, day four. Sun is shining. Uh, bike's ready to go. Going up Cheddar Gorge this morning. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Struggling a bit today, I'm starting to feel the fatigue. Um, yeah, had a lot to eat and I'm feeling a bit better now than I was earlier, but um, yeah, definitely uh, feeling the worst of any day so far. The last three days starting to catch up. So, anyway, um, not too much forward to do for today, so I'm just going to keep on cracking on and uh, yeah, I think I feel a bit better tomorrow. Wales. Nearly there, we've got 15 k to go. It's got one massive mile for the end of the day, but um, yeah, stumbled across this thing um, from Abbey. Pretty cool. It was a long day, but um, yeah, we've arrived in Colford, some golf place. But yeah, stop for tonight. In my hotel room with my uh, budget co-op meal deals for for dinner. But um, yeah, it feels like I'm sort of part one done after today. Um, you know, crossed over the Seven Valley and sort of going up, sort of going up rather than along now. Um, but yeah, today was tough. Um, started to feel the effort from the first three days in the legs um, and I think you know fatigue starting to set in now and I think you know it's going to be like that till the end so um, yeah first three days the first four days sorry it's um, yeah it's been difficult um, especially that second day with the weather and all the hills you know, it's been a lot of hills um, and yeah as I say I start to feel it today but um, yeah, I've got two flat days coming up and, and hopefully we can recover. And, you know, it's been been beautiful so far. First day, amazing weather in Cornwall, um, beautiful coast. Second day, um, I'm sure it would have been beautiful if I could have actually seen anything. But um, 
yeah and um you know today with Jelly Gorge and uh yeah um yesterday was Somerset Hill so yeah it's been beautiful which definitely keeps you going you know when you come over a hill and see the next site um so yeah just um I think the next two days are important if I can recover a bit and feel a bit less fatigued I think I'm going to feel quite confident that I can make it to the end whereas if the next two days are difficult it only gets harder from there um so yeah fingers crossed um because I'm feeling tired tonight so yeah good night's sleep part one done um on to part two Day five, pretty flat, so yeah, just taking it super easy and yeah, just hoping to recover a bit and, and spin away. But, yeah, nice. Yeah, we could be quite a nice relaxing day. I've stopped, feeling very drained. Yeah, struggling to bring down the pedals. Um, which isn't good, obviously. Um, not even halfway through today yet. Yeah, just searching for a bit of motivation, really. <laughs> which is a bit hard when you're out here all on your own in this country lane. So, anyway, I'll just stop, get going again, and just. I hope we feel better soon, but yeah. yeah I don't know. Stopped in uh, Leo Minster and had a quick coffee and some cake. Yeah, we've got about an hour and a half left to go, so yeah, still not feeling amazing, but a bit better than I was earlier. Yeah. These sheep have all come over to me, and I don't really know why. But yeah, oh, they're losing interest now. Not sure what that was about. So nearly at the end of the day, we just picked up some supplies from a petrol station. We really are in the middle of nowhere, so where I'm staying tonight is just... Yeah, there's no shops or anything, so... Yeah, I've sort of taken to saying hi to farm animals now. About the only company I've got. So yeah, I'm in the uh, Shropshire Hills this morning, day six. Well, it's nice, a bit chilly, but sort of warm up. And uh, yeah, meet some uncle for lunch. So uh, yeah, just gonna press on to then and cycling home in the afternoon and then staying there in the evening. So uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be a little boost. And yeah, the uh, only climb of the day really. Yeah, wasn't too bad. The sun is out, it's getting hot. I need to take the jacket off. And, um, yeah, it's sort of downhill pretty much the rest of the day now, although it's just us, so yeah, looking forward to that. It's going to be a strange sensation. <laughs> but, yeah. I believe she won't take me somewhere I'm not supposed to be. You can't steal the things that God has given you. No we're, in, we're in Ellesmere. Um, yeah, there's a lake. Uncle Nigel, the uh, 40k to go for today, so yeah, it's like into their house in Chester. So yeah, end of day six. Nice little spin with the uncle, the old dog, Hattie, hanging around, but uh, yeah, very easy day. Feeling good, my uh, legs are coming back to life, so uh, yeah, good prospect for the day's end. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to a nice pub meal tonight and uh, yeah, go again some. Yeah, day uh there we are, day seven. Just up by from Chester. So we've got a not very fun start to the day today. We've got to go through the metropolis of out to Manchester, Blackburn, that sort of area. So um, yeah, we're probably gonna be a bit of a, a boring day from that respect, but then I think the forest is loaded. Uh, yeah, being girlfriend tonight. So uh, good, bit, good, bit, good bit of motivation getting through the day, I think. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good and sun shining, ready to go.
just outside uh, Bolton, every part of the world. <laughs> yeah, another boring day today. But yeah, been alright and tracking it on. Most of the way through the day. Started hitting some climbs. Just going out of the uh, yeah, the busy, crowded Wigan Bolton sort of area in the countryside. We go to the forest of Bowland. Yeah, had some lunch, soup and some chips. That's about all they had that was veggie. But uh, yeah, feeling pretty good actually. Legs are feeling. I might even say racy to be honest. Like you know these times. I'm going them a lot faster than I am, so yeah, these fabled sort of oh, your legs will get better as you go along uh, it's starting to happen, which is good, I like to see that so yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, comes all into the day despite the times You know you've made it to the nerf when you see, uh, yeah, village signs like that Top of the rain? Yeah, that's probably a very offensive and dreadful act near Preston but uh, yeah it's a great view here actually. Mm. Okay there, there you go. Feeling good? Yeah up in the forest of Boland now, so it's the last time of the day. Pretty tough one. Uh, yeah, just to roll down to the end now. Yeah, made it to the finish point tonight. Very nice place to stay. Just wait for the pizza now, really. Start day eight. Up in the hills of Lancashire. Quite beautiful up here. Um, yeah, big day of climbing today, 2,000 metres. Yeah, feeling quite rested. Nice evening last night with my girlfriend. But yeah, on my own from now on in pretty much. So, uh, settling into the second week of it. Can we get up that in a second? Big climb this one. Bit of top of the highest climb of the day. Um, yeah, that was quite big. But, um, yeah. Stopped by the side of the uh, running on side of the M6. It's raining, it's grey, it's miserable, but uh, yeah, we'll carry on. I'm a bit used to being wet by now, so what can you do? Still raining, stop for some food. Usually at the end of the day, a little weird. It's really wet, but also there's a massive tailwind. I don't know if it's been happy or sad, really. Anyway, I'm going on pretty quickly, but also, so, so, yeah, well, it's a warm shower. Yeah, yeah, the last time of the day, very wet and cold, I want to shower, I'll be there in a minute. So yeah, just cruising into uh, Harbour Break, season day 8, a little fire dogs. To, uh, get towards the end now. Uh, going over the Scottish border today. Yeah, a bit of a short today. Probably not going to be the most exciting, but yeah, once we get into Scotland, hopefully we'll be a bit more picturesque. 
are in the uh, Ramsden here. Nice little borders down. Taking it easy today because um, needs are feeling a bit sensitive. So here we are. Scottish border. Um, still nowhere near the end, but um, yeah, nice to know that we're at least into this sort of third part of the journey um, over the river. So yeah, feeling a bit tired today. Also got really bad toothache, um, which isn't ideal. But, uh, and it's raining, but we'll carry on. Up in some forest somewhere. Wind's picked up. Strong crosswind today. Missing the tailwind a bit, <laughs> especially when you turn into it. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey guys, yeah. yeah. In a little place called Chushi Law in the uh, British Borders. So, yeah. A bit tired, I'm sure to a good sleep. And a long day tomorrow for Edinburgh. So, yeah, I'm in this lovely inn in the middle of nowhere called Chushi Law in the Scottish Borders tonight. But, um, yeah, when I thought about this trip, it was always sort of felt like it was going to be three parts. It was going to be um, the southwest and then sort of going for north through England and then sort of Scotland as the last bit. So just as I reflected on part one, I thought I'd reflect on part two. So um, yeah, the first two days are difficult. I really sort of struggled because um, the fatigue from, from the kind of Cornish and Somerset Hills really started hitting me and I was a bit concerned at that point because I was like these these are going to be easy days the uh, sort of days running along the Welsh border but um, you know their legs have recovered well and uh, yeah the last two days have been good and sort of it's a real boost seeing my uncle and staying with him and also seeing girlfriend as well so yeah it's got better as it's gone along this bit which is uh, yeah really good because that's the way you want it and um yeah, you know, there's been some, I wouldn't say it's been as dramatic as the first bit of the trip, but there's still been some beautiful parts. Um, you know, especially sort of uh, Lancashire. Incredible. Um, never been there before, really. But, um, yeah, really, really beautiful and, and kind of um, really surprising. Um, I just didn't know much about it before. But, um, yeah, it was cool going on the Welsh border as well. And, it's a bit of a boring bit going through sort of Bolton and Blackburn and that sort of area, but uh, yeah, you couldn't really avoid that. And uh, yeah, it just feels really good to be in Scotland now. You know, it's kind of you kind of think about everything you've done in in the past, and then you sort of go, oh wait, but I've still got to do all of Scotland. But now it's like all of that bit's out of the way now, and it's like just got to get through Scotland now, and then we're done. So it's five days left. Um, going through Edinburgh tomorrow. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really stunning. And the weather doesn't look too bad. Um, fingers crossed. I've had my last day of bad rain, which was uh, yesterday. Um, and it's not going to be too bad from now on. And, and the winds, well, it's not going to be a tailwind, but it also it's not going to be a headwind. So really looking forward to it. Um, my knees are feeling a bit dodgy, but I think they're going to be all right. Um, and I've actually got really bad toothache, which is annoying. but hoping for the best and I think I'm getting to the point now where I'm sort of getting reasonably confident I can actually make it to the end which I was a bit doubtful about sort of three four days ago so yeah feeling positive good night's sleep tonight and uh, press on through Scotland into Edinburgh tomorrow got tunes on this morning sun's shining good packing up but yeah ready to go this is my sort of morning routine breakfast shower and it actually takes a long time to get everything back together, but just sort of try and get mentally and physically ready for the day ahead. Start of uh, day 10. Some sheep company this morning. Yeah. 
in the borders. It's a bit grey, dangerously, but it's okay. And uh, a couple of climbs this morning, and then rolling down into Edinburgh. Looking forward to. Yeah, just rolling into Peebles, not halfway to Edinburgh. Very windy today, but uh, knees hurting as well. It's a bit annoying, but not stopping me yet, so we'll carry on. So here we are. Made it to Edinburgh. It's busy. Um, yeah, looking forward to a nice little stop and some lunch. Here we are from Princess Street. Made it to Edinburgh. A bit great, but um, yeah, it was good to be here. So I'm way out of Edinburgh now. Um, skies are going a bit grey. But uh, yeah, we're going over the fourth bridge for the king. Thought it was just a bit of a uh, headwind today, but no, it's uh, started ducking it down, which is great. Thought we'd seen the last of that, but uh, anyway, got the weather gear on. So here we are, made it through the rain. I know that like a bit of a granny with this on, but it's genuinely keeps you warm. Um, yeah, rain and rain, but we made it to the, the fourth bridge. Bridge, but yeah. Anyway, let's go over. So I had to go over the west side because I decided to go to the east side. Anyway, here we are. Five for four, going north. Um, long day today, 140 kilometers. Longest day, but not too steep. Got a couple of hours to go, I think. So uh, yeah, sun sort of come out. Weather's a lot nicer. Can't really decide what it's doing today. Just left uh, Kelty in the area of the bite now. Really going into the middle of nowhere, and. Uh, food on me and I've got a little uh, double espresso thing in my back pocket ready to smash to get me through to the end. Some funny British names here, yet so much hard. Also, chills into a headwind are horrible. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll be turning and it will go a tailwind in a second. But. Climb of the day. Just popped my um, double espresso shot thing. Get some caffeine. Still climbing. <laughs> beautiful road though, and uh, pretty beautiful area. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to keep my mind off things. So if you start sort of thinking about distances and all these kind of things, you get a bit demoralised. So I've been working my way through the 33-hour-long. Game of Thrones uh, audiobook, which is yeah, definitely keeping the old mind off the off the pain in various parts of the body. So uh, yeah, keep climbing, climbing to the top. She ended up in pretty nice end of the day. Back into the headwind. I'll 
I've got three kilometers. I'm gonna try and not get wet, but I don't think that's happening. Good news, made it. Just before the rain. Um, yeah, that was long. 90 miles, I'm not tired. My knees are But yeah, cover and go again tomorrow. Up into the uh, Kangol. Good morning, it is day 11. Feeling a bit sore, but you're gonna be all right. Before I just do a little insight into my on the bike nutrition. So I tend to have something bready. Um, so I have some sort of peanut butter sandwiches, or I've got some uh, brioche rolls today. Then some sort of bar that's a bit sort of oaty. So we've got some uh, hobnobs today, uh, hobnob flatjacks, which should be ideal. Flatjacks and dumb bits during the journey. Anyone who knows me knows sweeties are a big thing. So um, yeah, at least one packet of sweets every day. Um, that's what the doctor ordered. And yeah, that tends to keep me going. Day 11, so pretty nice that one actually. Not too hot, not too cold, pretty sunny. Took a little bit of a shortcut this morning on some like ropey gravel uh, farm roads. But um, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Saved myself quite a lot of time. So um, yeah, on we go. Up into the Cairngorms. Knee sore, tooth sore. Uh, not really feeling it. <laughs> Just had a bit of a moment. Had to uh, adjust my feet to try and help my knee and uh, managed to not close my bag up properly afterwards and my sort of multi-tool which I can fix everything with fell out. I didn't realise until about five kilometres later so I've had to go back five kilometres. Luckily did find it by the side of the road in the mud and at least I've got it but that's added another 10k onto the day which isn't ideal seeing as I'm not feeling great today anyways. Oh well, on we go, at least I've got it. Yeah, just stopped for a bit of lunch and uh, picked up some floss for the and some droid pain stuff for the old one. So hopefully that stops my pains, but I doubt it will. Started going up the climb and shifting started playing up, so I've had to do a complete sort of take the wire out of the, uh, the shifter and yeah, it got a bit jammed in there dirt and rain and everything so yeah I went in cleaned it all up um, managed to get it back together re-indexed the gears and uh, yeah ready to go again but uh, yeah today's not an easy one <laughs> all right we're going again gears are working knees are right going up and up to the good chi resort Bit of the climb. Not sure I'm ready for it, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Here we go. This is the bottom of the big climb. Um, the road is closed a lot of the year because it's covered in snow. It's uh, yeah, the highest, uh, highest A road in the country. So up we go. Way up. Pretty tough. Start to rain as well. Um, pretty beautiful, eh? Not gonna stop. Carry on till we get to the top. Just to the top. Stop. Oh, it's a big deep there, eh? So here we are. Highest day road in the UK. We're at uh, nearly 700 meters up here. It's a bit chilly. So yeah, a little stuff at the top, and then down we go. Oh, yeah. I got to the top and realised I was going up the whole way into a headwind, which is fun. But yeah, just a little ski resort. It's always funny seeing ski resort. Yeah, we're going to head on down to Braemar now because it supplies there and uh, it's a great ride to the stop the so yeah, 
need it today, it's been a long one. Scottish weather baffles me, you just like five minutes you can just be like summer and winter, it's crazy. Anyway, fun descent, um, got a while to go yet, but uh, yeah, off the really top cold bit now. So yeah, here in Bree Mile, um, nearly the end of the day, having a little iron brew, keep going. Mark Carson. It's actually easy for you to go. Keep me going. Hope you can appreciate it a bit more tomorrow morning. End of uh, day 11. We made it. That was a tough day with you know, having to go back for the tool and knee hurting, it's just lots of climbing and uh, yeah bike going wrong all in all it's been, it's been a testing day but we've made it um, and we'll recover and we'll go again tomorrow. Day 12 and it is a beautiful sunny morning in the Cairnville. We're feeling good, lovely stop last night, a little log. Uh, we got chatting to a few people and uh, I'm feeling quite energised this morning. Got a long day ahead, three big climbs to start. But after that, should be alright down to Inverness. So, off we go! Yeah, forest, up the tree land, tree line, and uh, into the moors. So, hope you ever stay this because it is beautiful. Day. Not too bad. So, yeah, I'll try next week. Yeah, these three climbs, they get bigger and bigger along. The first one wasn't too bad. Here's the second one. Running up alongside the hillside there. And the third one, well, yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to it. That wasn't that bad really, uh, not very steep. So yeah, down and then up the third one. So here we go, we're at the bottom uh, of the third and hardest climb at Cockbridge. This is the Lex climb up to the Lex ski resort. Uh, yeah, climb yesterday was six out of 10 difficulty in my little book that I have. This one's 10 out of 10. Been up the first bit of the climb. I'm not sure if you can see the 20% sign there, but it was like 20% all the way up. Um, so no video of that bit because I was all over the place. But, um, it's kind of two halves as far. So there's the steep first half, and then going up there, up into the mountain to the ski resort is the kind of second half, which is still steep but um, much longer. Yeah, that really wasn't that bad. Um, legs felt okay. So, good news. Um, that's sort of the half to get the day done. I'm glad it was at the start, not the end. I think you might have struggled, but yeah, it's just um, sort of unplayed. We're mostly down all the way to Inverness now. Yeah, really good. 
Oh my god, do you remember this? Yeah, another steep climb today. There's only one left after this. Not as big as the first three. Granton Holmes Bay. So we've turned out, turned off the main road. We're now into kind of cow forest and heatherland. Um, no cars here. Big spider. Uh, Maybe at the end of the day, doing a late jobs tonight. But yeah, pretty tired after this morning. All right. My watch like measures how many like intensity minutes you have in terms of like raised heart rate. And it's got a target of 150 minutes a week, and uh, it tells you every time you sort of beat that. And I've now met that 30 times this week. 30 times the target. So here we are. Yeah, it's going to so here we are in Inverness, start of day 13. The free uh, burnt bridge over there. So that's the first stop of the day. Quite a battle today, it's quite long. Just heading up north for the last bit really. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's kind of I think I'm a bit tired this morning. The hurts. It's not today into a big headwind as well. So we're crawling along, not making very good progress. Anyway, we're going to turn the corner soon and get a bit of a cross tailwind, I think. So then we'll crack on. Sun may rise in the east, at least it's settled in a final location. It's We've uh, left the shores of the uh, Murray Fair. Heading north now. Nice little cycle uh, track here. Um, yeah, being tired today. He's not really good. Hey, Sergeant Vero, I'll break the spell of Back up in the highlands again. Got a bit of tailwind. Making much better progress now, so about halfway through the day. And, yeah, keep on cracking on. Having a, uh, a macaroni pie from a local shop. So we're in uh, Laird, this is like the last bit of civilization before we hit the north coast. So got some snacks. Uh, yeah, got about an hour and a half left today. Getting very tired, but um, yeah, keep going. This has got to be the most right place. I've uh, seen to. It's our main destination. The road is on the Indoor Track Road. It's an A road. Apparently. See, we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins, and we break it up. Break it out, and we break it up. The area is now just dead. The place is You are supposed to get out. You know, nothing. Day 14. It feels weird that we're here really. Um, it's 
feels like another day, you know, it's, uh, it's too good to get your, your brain around it because uh, it's just such a big thing. But anyway, uh, we've got out of the wind behind us today, it's not too bad, the weather's alright, so hoping for a problem free day to get finish. Uh, I'm meeting up with my mate Josh at the end. So it's been a beautiful start to the day. Um, we're going aside, alongside uh, Neva. And, uh, big tailwind flying along, and it is very beautiful out here. But yeah, no one about. <laughs> Haven't seen anyone all day. Yet. to it <laughs> but uh, still got a bit of a tailwind the legs feeling all right the knees falling apart but it'll survive till the end um, then I might never get on a bike again I, uh, me and my bike are taking a bit of battering during this trip I think <laughs> hard things before I started and, uh, <laughs> I've completely worn through it and my gloves also falling apart as well um, yeah, I'm not sure how many more days me and the bike could have kept on going, really, but uh, yeah, anyway, good job today's the last one. Here we go, we're in Verzo, the uh, most northerly town in the UK. This is sort of the last stop really before we get to the end so I'm gonna grab some lunch here and uh no it's a new area we're about an hour and a half to the end it's going uh going past Dunnock Head which is the most northerly point in the UK last couple of days now Uh, adrenaline's running, so I see you flying along. Um, yeah, just passing to finish. Can't believe it. So here we go. Um, we're just coming down to John Groves. This isn't actually really the end point. The end point's over there. So here we are with the, um, with the famous sign. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know, I don't really feel like I finished yet, I feel like I have to get to that point. Yeah, we'll come back here for my friend Josh Rice and get some food. One last little climb and uh, then we're there. So here we are. Josh is here. Yeah, yeah. We've um, got our photos. Um, we've got in the queue, and yeah, I think we're done now. So we're gonna gonna head off and have some beers, I think, and uh, yeah, celebrate. So there we go. Um, thousand miles later, twenty-five thousand meters climbed. Um, I made it to the end, and. I think I look a bit underwhelmed at the end. I think um, I just hadn't really get, got my head around it. And 
Actually watching this all back and putting this video together has really helped put it all into to context. It sort of feels like I'm watching someone else doing it because I feel like I was just in a state of caffeine induced delirium for the last like week of it, literally. Um, and I realised my ramblings, sort of my long rambling monologues to the camera just got longer and longer as the trip went on. But that actually ended up being really therapeutic, kind of having this agony aunt camera that I could just talk to at any point and sort of get my feelings out of there because when you're on your own when you're on your own for that amount of time and you know there's very little support out there so if you feel like you've got at least something to talk to that that really helped um so yeah it was amazing um saw so many amazing things and i think looking back like you know how i managed to get through it um i don't know yeah it still feels like i'm watching someone else do it but yeah really proud of of what I managed to achieve um, and, and still managed to do it despite um, coronavirus trying its best to, to get in the way. So yeah, also managed to raise um, thousand, over a thousand pounds for um, environmental charity, which was great as well. Um, and yeah, just, just an amazing thing that I will, I will look back on um, forever.